guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you're doing really, really well. And this is a Bournemouth versus Chelsea match preview. And tomorrow we cannot lose. First of all, we cannot lose. We will be on four points in the first five games. That would be a disaster. Now, and also, Bournemouth are not a typical low block side like many people think. Under the Areola side, do like to press their oppositions like I think they had 47% of possession against Spurs when they lost 2-0 you know? so I definitely think Bournemouth will, will have something to show about themselves and it's not going to be as easy as many people think will be but uh, I think against Bournemouth Chelsea should find it easier to play through the lines which I don't think we haven't done enough in the first four games especially against West Ham uh, after Carney Chukomeka went off against Luton yeah we won 3 know, but it wasn't great and against Forest so in between the line play has to come back we cannot just go to out wide and hope for crosses in the box that doesn't work anymore because you've got like two solid defenders who are just going to block off jackson all day so i think that's what we need to do now uh bournemouth uh, if i look at their start they lost to spurs they got a decent result against brentford they drew at west ham and they lost to liverpool so they got two points we got four so they're not in a great run of form they are a high pressing team as far as I know from under, under an area other side. So, we don't have any excuses not to win. I don't think they're going to play a typical low block like many people expect them to. Like I said, hope now, oh, I'm just going to play Chiva left wing or I'm going to play Sterling on the right. Jackson's going to play as a false nine. You need to, you need to go to back to pre-season. I didn't think we did any of this in pre-season, which is more baffling to me why we're doing it now. Now, of course, I understand, I, to, be, to an extent, I understand Chiwell. I To the extent, I understand Chiwell. Look, he's playing left wing because Modric is not ready. And I think we saw his performances for Ukraine and England, and he wasn't good. He wasn't good, right? So, what Poch has done is, he used, he used Chiwell. Chiwell's got height, Chiwell's got goal threat. I don't think Chiwell, as an attacker, is as bad as many people make it out to be. But he hasn't got the basic skill sets of a winger. That's not his fault. He's a left back. He isn't able to be his man. He struggles to combine with other players. He doesn't make a left back and left left side any sort of threat because he haven't he hasn't even got any sort of support. Kobe was not bombing forward, is he? So that that just make doesn't make sense. Uh I think look, okay, you don't trust Modric, right? You do not trust Modric at all. Play Sterling there, play Palm on the right. What's so complicated? I'm, I'm baffled with this selection. And Poch has actually doubled down on this as well in, re in his recent I think, interview or something. And he said, Chua will create the most chances in the league. And I was like, no, that was Enzo. So, uh, so I do think this thing will continue. And it's going to affect us because Chua does not do a basic job of the winger. And Koval, as left back, is not fit for any purpose. He does not invert into midfield. He does not bomb forward and go to the left, like the byline and put crosses in. He, Kovu, is redundant in this team. And I, I am baffled that Pochettino does not understand this. It's just like, okay, uh, there's no excuses. Another one, Gallagher. How is Gallagher signing in this midfield? The guy is playing as a number six. A defensive midfielder. Y imagine that. We got one of the worst players on the ball as our first base progressor. I, I I have no words. I have no words. And I'm like, you got Leslie there. Just play Leslie. I think Leslie, yeah, people say, oh, Chelsea team hasn't got height. That's why chill us, mate. Play Leslie. What's stopping you from playing Leslie? He's 6'3", decent on the ball. He's a defensive midfielder. So it's just like, I don't know what's going on. And also, I think, yeah, that's it. Nico Jackson, yeah, Nico Jackson. You need to run Nico Jackson. Nico Jackson, he has had a good start, except the goals, right? But I feel like he's overdoing it. Someone needs to tell him to calm the hell down. He needs to be in the striker position. The ball needs to come to him. I feel like Jackson, what he's doing is, he's coming to get the ball, and he's dropping too deep. And then... We don't have a threat from the left side left side anyway, and then we don't even have a threat centrally. And then we just rely on Sterling and Gusto to do something miraculous and we score. 
So that's the problems. That's what a couple of, a couple of the problem issues I want to talk about. Another issue though, Thiago Silva and Disassi. Both of them do not complement each other one bit. One bit. They do not suit the each other. Uh, I'm baffled. Look, yeah, they have done a good job because we've been playing, I think, what was it? Forest, Luton, West Ham. But they get easily bullied. I mean, especially Thiago Silva. He gets bullied too easily. And then, of course, Di Sassi. Yeah, he's, I think Di Sassi is a bit more lenient due to him still adapting to the Premier League. Uh, he's been forced to do this luxury right back, right centre back type of role, which I am still trying to figure out what it is. And this team, I think Poch is complicating it. He's complicating it too much. You got he wants to do this three four type hybrid. This these players are not ready to do that, any of that. You need to stick stick with a basic structure to help the team. And that's what I believe. Now of course, a couple of injuries. Let's about that quickly. Lavia is out. He's done his, I think, knee or something. Uh, when he was the international break, I was like, God's sake. Because we needed Lavia badly. He's a sitter, he's a number six. We're going to have to see Gallagher against Kaiseido together. Do you know how depressing that is? Kaiseido, I don't think we've seen the best of him. Maybe we'll see the best of, of him in the inter- after the international break. Maybe he'll carry, he'll carry Gallagher. But at the moment, Gall- Kaiseido is not doing that as well. So that's my problem. Um... And Kuku, of course, out. Reese James still out. Um, Amanda Broya won't be back in this game. And so won't be Ben by the Achille. And I think what Poch said in the press conference about Chilwell makes me think we're going to continue with this. So finally he said, despite him being a fullback, we want to use him in another position to help. So in my opinion, this is the starting lineup that Pochettino will pick. And then I'll give you mine that I think he should go with. So of course... In goal, I'll go Robert Sanchez. I don't think he's done much right, but I don't think he's done much wrong either. You cannot. I think the one against Forest, yeah, maybe could save it. But, uh, I think the striker's too near, to be honest. Um, right back, Malagusto. But Malagusto's performance against Forest was not good. I do not blame him because he had a very difficult job, to be honest. Um, of course, left back, I think we'll go with Coville. Uh, I think a centre-back will go with Diogo Silvendi Sassi again. In midfield, it'll be Gallagher and Caicedo. Left wing, Chilwell, right wing, Sterling, 10 or 3 8, Fernandez. Up top, Jackson. That's what Pochettino will do, 90%. Unless he has a sudden thought and he plays Palmer, which I don't see happening. And if I had a choice, this is the team I'll start. Sanchez in there, fair enough. Gusto, Di Sassi, Koval, um, Leslie, Caicedo, uh, Sterling, Palmer. Because Madweke is well done with that ready to me yet. In the 10 row, Enzo, but he's able to be the 3 8 or 3 10 row where you want to be to get the best of Enzo because you're not getting the best of Enzo except the first one and a half games of the season. And of course, fr- up front is coming Nico Jackson. So I think that's what I would do. Now, how do I expect tomorrow's game to go? I think we'll have we'll have an even game in terms of possession. I think Bournemouth, Chelsea, they should have equal amount of possession. I think they will look to play. Which, I think, in theory, will help us. Like I said, we will have more spaces behind the defence. And I think in pre-season, pre-season, we played Brighton, we played Newcastle, we played Borussia Dortmund. I think Fulham were the only team who played a low block. Low block. So I think this team is not being prepared right to play a low block. You have to take risks to play a low block. You need to be able to play between the lines against a low block. You need to be able to move the ball quickly to play in a low block. And we have our build up plays probably one of the worst in the league. So it is our problems are evident. It is fixable, clear to see. Now, of course, what I said is not gonna make us a title challenger, but it will get us to a decent level. I am expecting this year to just get 60 points. 60 points is all I want. Because this team is not ready. In so many aspects of it, we are not ready. And we need to we need time to chill, but I don't know. Like, if I talk about some of the players that could come back and make a difference, these come back could make a massive difference. Leadership, etc. I think the main player though, Nkuku. Once Nkuku's back, I think that might make a huge, huge difference to this team. Um, but we haven't got Nkuku till December, so we had to find new ways to adapt. I think Carney's out for another month as well, so 
Cole Palmer, in my opinion, has to stop because he's the player who's able to play in between the lines, right? We need a in-between-the-lines player. We need to play Sterling on the left because he can cut in, make different shooting angles, maybe got Venture on the overlap, who's much more threatening from that aspect. So that's my opinion on this. Uh, Poch, look, there has been signs. I'm not going to say, like, we have been completely awful. No. I think we need time. We need a couple of things to work our way, of course, in games. Lock is a massive thing in football. And he, and he needs to improve his team selection. He needs to improve subs. He literally makes... He goes 1-0 down a game and then he puts on every single bloody player on the bench. It's like, what is the point? We've got Mudra coming on with a goal down with 20 minutes left in the game. How's that going to help him? He's under so much pressure to deliver. The guy is not... I don't know, he's not being good enough. His confidence is low. Don't make sense. Madweke, same as well. So I think it's like either you use them when the game is a nil-nil, 60 minutes gone, yeah, you bring them on. Or I think against Forest, he should have made this sort of half time, right? So that's my thinking. And honestly, Bournemouth will be a challenge, but I think we should be beating Bournemouth. To be honest, we should be beating Forest and West Ham as well, so <laughs> it's what it is. But I think Bournemouth, we genuinely should be beating because I think Bournemouth will play into our hands. Andoni Iriola, what I know about Andoni Iriola, he likes to press. He likes to press his team super high. They want to win the ball back as soon as possible. They want to play good football. I think that could play into our hands. Because we faced these type of teams the most in preseason. We pressed. We played Brighton, we played Newcastle, and we played Dortmund, like I said, who all like to press. So we should find it theoretically easy to, easier, right? And that's what I'm hoping for. Now for score prediction. I think Chelsea get the job done tomorrow. I would like to think Chelsea get the job done tomorrow. I'm going to go 2-1. And we need to make sure the couple of players that want to keep a close eye on. Caicedo. Enzo. Enzo needs to be used the way he was before Carney's injury. I don't know why you had to use Enzo in a way that you're just covering up other people's floors. Because it's just not going to work. You're not going to get the best. You're not going to be able to cover the positions like you want because this is impossible. And you're reducing him and his impact anyway in front of the game. Uh, of course, Chivo, if he starts, I think there will be more scrutiny around him. Because I think everyone in the fan base don't want to see him start at left wing. Some don't want him at left back either. So I'm not really too fussed about that. But we need to make a couple of things sure. Nico Jackson, he needs to stay calmer. He needs to buy his time. You do not want Nico Jackson to be dropping into a 10 roll at all. That's not his job. At all. You need to make sure that we're playing a builder plays quicker. It's smoother. It's not taking 50 years to progress the play. From the defensive half to the middle half to the attacking half. It should be much, much swifter than this, right? I think, in my opinion at least. So that's some of the things we need to look out for. But firstly, I do think we'll get the job done tomorrow. And after that, we got Villa. We need to win. We got really hard runs after I think the Burnley games. Yeah, so we got Villa, you got Burnley, you got Fulham, and you got Bournemouth. In the next four games, after that, we got the big boys to play. Now, to be honest, against against big boys, we might actually do better, but still, it is a hard run of games. You cannot guarantee three points, in my opinion. But I'm not going to be like, oh, Pochettino needs to go for lose tomorrow, because he's one of our last problems right now. I feel like I still feel like he's one of our last problems. This squad is. Not ready. Even if we win tomorrow, I will keep on repeating this. This squad is not ready. We will make mistakes. We will panic under pressure. We will. We, we need to have the perfect game to win games at the moment, right? Like a conclusion, everything went for us. We won the game. That's the sort of game we'll need to win at the moment. And as the season goes on, I do expect things to get better with Pochettino in charge. Because that preseason was a good template. We did well in preseason. We just need to bring into the league. We need to find a way of breaking down low blocks. We need to use Enzo Fernandez more effectively. We need to use Cole Palmer, Carney, and Cuckoo, all of them as well, and not play a left back, a left wing when it's clearly not working. But anyway, this was my Chelsea versus Bournemouth match preview. If you like the video, please do like and share the video. If you like my videos in general, please subscribe to the channel and leave me your opinions in the comment section down below about everything that I've discussed. Leave me your lineup for the games that you want to see tomorrow as well. Leave me your Score predictions in the comments down below as well. And I'll have to see you guys later for another video.